Liverpool v everybody. I'm gonna keep this quick. I did really want to see this uh, Sheffield United City game, but um, first of all, just hats off to this Wolves team. Um, I don't think they were great today, but they stayed in the game. And I think call it us missing chances, not being clinical in the final third, whatever the case may be, they still stung, uh, stuck. Uh, st I can't even speak. They still stuck around and it's stuck in the game and i think like i said they, they bring on Traor and he gave them a burst of pace a burst of energy he's just so strong man and um they had a few moments there at the end um and thankfully their shooting boots weren't on almost every shot they took went over the bar or was a deflection or just went in the sky so um but much respect to them i think you're looking at two of the the best teams in the league to, to my opinion just just watching them man for man possession for possession how they manage how both teams managers really um, run their squad um, the players in the team the running these guys the both of these teams do um, The toughness the tenacity. I mean this this is a really physical scrap in that second half and the ref kind of just let them play I mean a lot of things you can th you can look back and say man That should have been a call yellow car blow the whistle something, but I enjoyed it a very physical battle No one was um gonna go hiding both of these teams are really really going at it and like I said a, a, a incredibly scrappy uh, battle in that second half um so the fact that Nuno can come to Anfield and uh, make that many changes and his team really, really still look pretty decent to, to good, um, you got to tip your hat to that squad. So for us, look, I think Trent was really underwhelming today. I'll say that. I don't want to say he was all for anything like that, but he wasn't good. It was definitely was, was uh, miles away from what he, what he did against Leicester, which, look, th these things happen. But I think offensively, his passing and defensively the guy whose name on their team i can't remember his name but it, 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 it i feel like it sounds like viagra sorry i can't think of his name something like that um was doing that really simple just tap to the left go around him and putting balls in i didn't like seeing that and so um but again you know uh <laughs> guys are gonna have bad games you know what i mean it is what it is uh, at the end of the day we got the result that's really all that matters Mane, obviously we know what happened there so today was just about getting the result man yeah, that and, and it's funny because in the in the in the uh, the podcast with, with me and Gary, well, Gary and I, I was saying that after the Leicester game, it feels like we're going to really just start mowing through teams. And today, the only thing that was missing was the goals. Let's be real. We penetrated through that defense. We had uh, enough chances to be up at least two or three. You know what I mean? That that was something that was easily could have happened. Uh, but those, those, those final moments, we didn't get it. But thank God for that goal because... Um, it's fine margins and fine margins could have could have um, gotten us a draw today and it would have been much credit to, to wolves and disappointing for us not really finishing our dinner when we could have so um again it's just it's a day to just celebrate another win i'm sure the wins like that mean so much man because you hold on you keep that clean sheet again and um you know again it's it just it's just a serious battle serious battle so get the guys rested up again and then get ready for our next match but uh hope you guys enjoyed the game and uh, we'll see you guys soon.